Hey YouTube, this is Maker's Journey here. I'm gonna be doing a series of videos uh, to help this company that I'm working for to set up their machine just to drill holes on this mill. Let me show you what I'm gonna do here. And this is just to zero the machine out and get it set up so that you can program it. So this is the first video of several. All right, so the first thing you wanna do here is turn the machine on. And to do that, you turn the main breaker on in the back of the machine and to the on position. And what we're doing right now is we're just going to wait for it to boot up. Sometimes with this machine, when it boots up, an error occurs and a red line comes across. If that happens, basically all you have to do is there's a little toggle switch on the side here, a little silver toggle switch. You turn that off, give it about a minute, and then restart it again. That line should go away and this screen should come up the way it is now. So this time around, we did not get an error. The first step is press system check. And basically you just follow the screen and now we're gonna hit go and basically the machine is going to reference itself and it's so minute you cannot see it. Right now the bed is moving around, but you, trust me, you cannot see it with the naked eye. All right, now we're into the point where you gotta select the mode. Next step is press DRO. When you press DRO, at this point, we're gonna zero out our access, our three access. Our next step is to go ahead and use an edge finder to find our zero. I just wanna clarify on the center finder and why I'm offsetting it 100 thousandths. So my zero point on X and Y will be right here on the vise. The diameter of the end of the center finder is 200 thousandths from outside to outside. And what I'm doing is dividing the center finder to find my true reference point or zero on the mill. I was looking at the video and I realized it was a little vague, so I decided to add this in. So I bring it to the edge of the edge finder and it's gonna pop out like that. When that happens, what I do at that point is I zero the machine out, but then I re-zero it to get my true center hundred thousands back and I do the same thing on my X and I do the same thing on my Y so I zero bring the bit up bring it in one hundred thousands zero again that is my true Y zero do the same thing on the X hit it touch it zero it out bring it back a hundred thousands and that is my true zero on my X so Y, X, or on the part, and then X. I hope that helps. So basically the diameter is 200 thousandths, and I'm splitting the difference of 100 thousandths and offsetting it back to get a true zero. And we're just gonna come in and touch our uh, center bit our center finder until it offsets. As soon as it offsets, we're gonna stop there. And we're going to be zeroing out X. This, the ABS set is also the enter button. But I'm going to set up the hundred thousands offset so it's at zero. And I'm just going to move it one hundred thousands. And then I'm gonna zero out my X again, and that'll be the zero reference point from where I can program the machine on X. And then hit enter. Now it knows where the X is at. We're gonna do the same thing for uh, Y. Just come down and touch it till it offsets. You'll see it kick out here in a minute. There it goes, boom. And then you do the same thing. You set up your Y, press reference, you're going to zero out your Y, it's going to highlight, and then you hit enter. And the same thing, I'm going to offset that 100 thousandths, and then I'm going to hit enter again. We're going to hit Y, highlight it, and then we're going to hit enter. This is also the ABS button. All right, we're good there. Now, now it knows where its X and Y is at, 
Now we're gonna put a drill bit in and we're gonna set up Z. Little side note, this is your forward and reverse and stop. And also this is for fine cutting and coarse cutting. This will make the machine, if you go to coarse, the machine will run more rapidly. If you go to fine, it's gonna be at a slower feed rate. We're gonna change out our center finder for a 3 8 bit. Put your chuck inside, find your keyway, and press in, and that'll lock in your blade. We're gonna come about a hundred thousandths off the Part. I'm just eyeballing it, nothing special. You could always do something like this, I guess, if you want, until it touches, and then back off. And that's just to put it in a safe area. Now we're gonna go ahead and zero out our Z. And with this one, we do not need to do an offset, so we just highlight Z, and then press Enter, and that's the zero point. And now that's the zero point. At this point, the machine still doesn't know where it's at. Now we got to go into reference. And what we're going to do is we're going to press mode. We're going to press setup. And then we're going to press reference position. And it says right here, uh, move the head to a safe distance. So we're going to move the chuck away from the part. After we've done that and everything is in a safe area, what this is going to do is at the end of every run, it's gonna bring the, the table out to a safe area where you can change your parts out at. At this point, we press the ABS, also known as enter. We're gonna set it. We're gonna put minus two in here. Pressure minus two point. And all your information is gonna be down here that's getting ready to be entered up here and hit enter. Down here, we're gonna put in four inches and that's gonna bring the machine forward. And we're not doing minus, just four inches. And then enter. At this point, we're all done and ready to go. Now we can go into programming the machine.